Hey, we're live. It's Enigma Hood. Uh, I'll be right back. Just give me a second to share the screen. I'm back. Oh, Nerdheart, thank you so much for the host. Thank you. Thank you so much. Actually, uh, hold on. I need to double check something real quick. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Oh, lovely gamer. Hey, so the ad had a raccoon and I found it funny. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the, the donation last night. I'm so sorry that um, that I wasn't able to thank you when you sent it. I, I still didn't get my notifications working yet. Um, I really got to get that working. Uh, but I'll, I'll get that set up soon. So that uh, you know, I, I will, I won't have that uh, that mishap again. But thank you so much, lovely. I really appreciate that. All right, we're back in action. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can. So, how are you doing? So we're in episode four. Gonna try, uh, try breeze through this game if we can. Oh no! Oh no! Man, like Bentley is—he's beyond useless. Appointments in 10 minutes, but just have to get on the stream. <laughs> okay, no problem. Hope everything goes well with your appointment. Oh no. So 
so many guys. Okay, there we go. Okay. All the guards along the prison wall are outfitted with a motion tracking device. There's no way for Sly to escape. Unless I take those guys out with my RC chopper. All right, RC chopper. Oh no. Wait, what am I supposed to do? I'm trying to read the instructions. By the way, how's the volume? Actually, like the volume for some reason it seems excessively loud, and I don't really know why. Oh, hey, Chloe. How are you doing? Is the volume okay? It, it's loud on my end for some reason. It might just be. It might just be my thing. Volume balance okay? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Who am I supposed to kill? These guys? That one guy. Volume is fine? Okay, good. It's it was just me then. I'm doing alright. Doing okay. Not bad. I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do. Let me see. Let me check the job help. Take out the wall guards. Oh, okay. So I am supposed to just take these guys out. You had your second job interview today? How'd it go? Sounds like it went well. Alright, I'm gonna die. That's okay. Hey, X infected. What's up? Alright, that's fine. I'm sorry, Sly. Doing good? Good. Actually, let me, let me turn it up on my end a little bit. Hey, Nolavani! How are you doing? I think it went very well, but I'm trying not to be cocky. Get my hopes up in case I don't get it. <laughs> is uh, This is for the um, the job at the the restaurant, right? It's not a waitressing job, but it's something, something else. It's kind of hard to figure out exactly who I'm supposed to attack. A host, yeah, that's it. Or a hostess, I should say, right? <laughs> the hostess with the mostess. Okay, there we go. Sly, can you read me? How I missed that sensuous voice of yours. Save the jocular comments for later. Do you see that hook above the train? Yeah. It's your only means of escape. Jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Then swing onto the back of the train. I've already established a safe house and downloaded its GPS coordinates into your binocucom. We'll rendezvous there. Wow, you've really thought of everything. Don't I always? Yeah, you do. Thanks for busting me out. Oh, well, 
You know the old saying, if you can't count on a friend to bust you out of jail, what kind of a friend are they? Truer words were never said, wizard. Turn to the safe house for further instructions. Okay. Uh, all right, so I got I got to get out of here. Um I'm supposed to get out of here. Oh, okay, I got. It. Oh no 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 oh no no no! I I just I just realized what I'm supposed to do. But don't don't worry, Chloe. You heard everything there is to know about that state. <laughs> Nothing. So you need to know. Oh no. Here's the situation. I've done some deep database crunching and figured out that Murray is doing time in cell block D. Getting him out is going to be tough. As you know, he's not very light on his feet. First, we'll need to get Murray into an isolation cell away from the other inmates. Second, I'll need you to get a sample of the Contessa's encryption algorithm. Don't worry, I'll explain later. Third, you'll need to pickpocket a few keys from the Contessa, but watch out for her pack of bodyguards. And fourth, you'll have to deactivate her giant attack robot. Now really, Sly, I'm serious. The Contessa has a giant attack robot. It just looks like a water tower. Now, once you've pulled off all these jobs, we'll be ready to make Gonna a play for the Gonna have to find someone from Idaho? Guy. I, I would have sworn that I knew someone, like, I just knew of someone from my school. Okay, when I was in elementary school, that was from Idaho. Most boring stay in the world. Alright. Just country bumpkins. And that's putting it nicely. They make potatoes. That's all I know about the state. Idaho potatoes. Okay, Sly. In order to get Murray out, we'll need him to get thrown into solitary confinement. That pipe will lead you to his cell block. Try to locate him and relate the plan. After that, it's all up to Murray. All right, I'm headed inside. All right. You do know someone? So you just know of them. Yeah, same. Same here. But I haven't seen that person in a long time. <laughs> no idea what happened to them. Don't care. Psst, Murray. Hey, Murray. Huh? Sly? Where are you? Over here, in the back wall. Sly! Oh, I'm so glad to My see you. My stupid ex-girlfriend's girlfriend lives there. Had a spice. bye moment. <laughs> I'm feeling kind of strange. Ex-girlfriend's girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Bentley seems to have found a weakness in the solitary confinement. Uh, what are you using the stream again? A dongle thing? Yeah. Fight, um. The guards will throw you in there. Trust me. I'm speaking from experience. It, well, uh, so, I got on Black Friday. I suppose a powerful force like it was originally just a VHS capture device. It was like 30 bucks. Excellent. But it works with any composite you signal. Not out of 50 of those guys, and Bentley and I will take care of the rest. Beat the snot out of 50 of those guys. All right, I can do that. 
Bentley's actually pretty good. I don't mind. Oh, no, not Bentley. Murray. I keep getting them mixed up. Murray's not bad. You know, he's just like a brawler. Okay, no problem. But uh, Bentley. Take your time, Nella! <laughs> Yeah, Sly is kind of the more platformy, stealthy character. Murray's a brawler. Bentley, though, is just like. I don't even know what his role is. Yeah, Bentley does suck. Whoa. That was Kate. Yeah, that was Kate. <laughs> Kate loves Bentley. I don't know, Bentley's kind of mean sometimes actually, because like he, he describes his so-called friends as mentally inferior. Like, Chloe, how would you feel if you had a friend that described you as mentally inferior? Oh no, shit. <laughs> that would be the end of that friendship. It's like, oh, really, you think I'm mentally inferior? You arrogant fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, like these spikes, they come out of nowhere. And I don't have a good area of effect attack. Oh, I'm mentally inferior. In some ways, I sure I, I'm sure I am. <laughs> That's ten down. The Murray stands tall. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> My friends are mentally inferior, but I'll still bust them out. That was. No, I'm paraphrasing what he said, but that was basically what he said. I mean, you could say Murray isn't the brightest, but you know, there are things that you can say and there are things that you don't say, you know. Sometimes you shouldn't always state the truth. Just because it's true doesn't mean you should say it. You know, Bentley lacks tact. Strikes again. There's another kind of intelligence called emotional intelligence. It plays off of how your ability to read other people and understand social situations and things like that. It's a very important skill. Having low emotional intelligence is fine, as long as you're a solitary, solitary person, you know. Don't like dealing with other people, that kind of thing. Oh, welcome back, Nolibu. There are people like that. Multiple lines of intelligence. That's right. That is correct. It's hard to find someone that is like a genius in everything, you know? Done research on those white helmets? Yeah, actually I was talking to Nilavani about that last night. Uh, and I actually watched that movie, The White Helmets. I saw it. I saw the whole thing. It's a very powerful film, and they... There, there are some white helmets that freely admit that 
They used to be fighters. They don't hide that. But they, you know, have, they changed what they want to do with their lives, so to speak. And now they dedicate their lives to saving people. And they did save people. Children, babies. Now, I will admit that I only saw one side of it, but it's a very powerful movie. And as I am here right now, sitting here, uh, I don't have any problem calling them heroes. I color- I just call her Lovely. Isn't Lovely like a nice name? Lovely's a nice name. It's a nice nickname. Lovely. How you doing, Lovely? My co-worker seriously lacks that kind of intelligence. He'll stand over all the females when they're sitting at their desk and not realize how awkward he is. Yeah. It reminds me of uh, a guy I knew who used to come to the stream. He would always act socially awkward and stuff. You know, they're just people who are, you know, they have... Yeah, you know, like, there's something wrong with, with, with their... Ability to socialize. They don't understand social situations. That kind of thing. LG, like OG Loke? OG Loke from San Andreas? LG's a type of phone, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm talking about Optic. I didn't want to say it, but yeah, I was talking about Optic. under the bridge feed power to the prison security systems. I'll need to cut the connection to free Murray. Sounds like a plan. What do you need me for? As you know, the bridge is heavily guarded. I hear you. You'd like a little protection while you place the bombs. That's correct. Love to help out, but there's nowhere to hide on the bridge. We're totally exposed. That's true. To fool the guards, you'll need to break those statues and take their place. I pose like a statue, the guards walk on by, then POW! I hit him from behind. You're a genius. That's also correct. Takita. Okay, no problem, lovely. Or I should say Takita. Good luck uh, at your appointment. Love, that's a good, that's a good nickname. Don't British people, like, call women love anyway? They're always calling each other love. <laughs> oh, shit. You must protect Bentley. Hide as a statue. Sneak attack. Patrolling guards. Okay. I like that nickname, Love. I'm gonna call her Love from now on. Love is good. I like love. <laughs> Rose comes up with nicknames for everyone. <laughs> taco? She was gonna Photoshop me into like a taco or something. What am I supposed to do? I have to protect him. Hide as a statue. Okay. Okay. Work. 
remember it's calling people love is similar to Americans calling people honey, which I admit I've done at work before. <laughs> you call people funny <laughs> at work? Here. Follow me to the top of the bridge. Bill Bunny's like, how you doing, hon? What can I get you for you? Would you like some waffles and pancakes and syrup? <laughs> I hate saying love. But British people, they always say that. It's proper Yorkshire. Some people just sound cringy saying it with their accents, like you. <laughs> See, we're Americans. Like, we, we can't tell the difference between all the different, you know, English accents. Can't tell the difference. So... Don't worry about us. Oh, wait a minute. Where, where am I supposed to go? I don't know where he went. focus on this one. <laughs> Dante. <laughs> Actually, you know, like, the, the words that Dante uses, he seems to use more American words. From my, from my experience of dealing with him. Like, he calls people dude and stuff like that instead of calling them mate. You call people mate, right, Chloe? You call your friends mates? So you have mates. Yep. Good I might. That's what uh, Hex Infected says. He's always like, Good I might. Say mate, but only in the right context. I see. Got another one in place. Heading back across the bridge. Sometimes these guys, they can see me even if I am posing like this. <laughs> you say rad? Rad was a popular word back in the 80s in America. I remember there used to be a trapper keeper. I don't know if you guys remember trapper keepers. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. There was a, a trapper keeper called Rad Dog. <laughs> Yeah, like, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was really popular in the 80s, so they popularized a lot of surfer lingo. Especially Michelangelo, because he was like a surfer. Radical, man! 
Surf's up, dude. Now they're introducing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to a new generation of kids, but you know, it's not the same. It's just not the same. Did you see? Did anyone see the Michael Bay Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I saw it. It was okay. Your brother loved that show. Did you watch the the Michael Bay movie? Even <laughs> Ninja Turtle sucks. It does now. I haven't seen the new cartoons, so I can't really speak on them. But I didn't like the one that was in the '90s, like the mid '90s, because they they removed Krang and stuff like that. You know, so. I know Krang wasn't in the like. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was originally a comic, um, and Krang wasn't in it, but, uh, yeah, the 2000s TMNT, I think I know what you're talking about, I think. Hey, no, Levani, didn't you say, like, the turtles from the new movie scare you or something? Like, I think you, I think you said something like that a long time ago. Like the the thing is like they made them look like like actual turtles. They look weird and scary. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Because they made them look like real turtles except big. So they do look a little like I can understand someone being frightened by them because they actually do look like just really big realistic tur turtles. Whereas in the cartoon, you know, it looked it looked cartoonish. There's this woman who's addicted to the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> wow, there's a woman who's into them? I don't know if too many women into Ninja Turtles. But I'm sure AVGN would love her because he loves the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> he is one of the movie heads and it's terrifying. <laughs> who is this woman? <laughs> Someone from college or something? Okay. And there's the next mission. Oh, someone on YouTube. The Ninja Turtles fanatic. Yeah, you find all kinds of weird people on YouTube. You're, you're listening to one right now, <laughs> if I'm being totally honest. <laughs> Please watch this. Okay. I'll watch it uh, after the stream. You can uh, whisper it to me. I'm an old hand at pickpocketing. This is going to be tougher than you think. The Contessa's no fool. Since your escape, she never goes anywhere without bodyguards. You'll have to take them out one by one in order to get close to her. I should probably use noise to lure them away. <laughs> Cannot from live on without seeing this woman. You saw her before? Who is she? What am I supposed to do? Oh, I'm supposed to pickpocket? Okay, okay, I think I can do that. Use nothing but pizza. I would get too I would get too sick of pizza if I ate it all the time. <laughs> she oh okay. She eats nothing but pizza because of the Ninja Turtles. Oh man, that's that's dedication, but that that's dedication that might ruin your health. I don't know if that's worth it. Oh, I think I'm supposed to pickpocket all three of them. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The Ninja Turtles were the best ad for uh, 
pizza. Every fan of the Ninja Turtles, they love pizza. Favorite is Michelangelo, the surfer guy. Yep, that's Michelangelo. Huh? Oh. You know, in the original comic, they originally wore, they all wore, like, uh, red headbands. Um, I mean, in the original comic, it was all black and white, but they 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 did colorize some of them. And in the color ones, they all wore red hand headbands. They didn't change them to multicolored headbands until the, the 80s cartoon. Come on. See, the thing that's annoying is like, he runs really fast when he gets left behind. Maybe I should have snuck up behind him first. Yeah. It was... To give them more personality to... You know, because otherwise they would seem too samey. I think in the original car in the original comic... They didn't have, like, the same personalities that they do in the cartoon. Like with Michelangelo being the Serpa guy and Raphael being the smart ass. Donatelia, he was like the scientist. And Leonardo, Leonardo was the leader, of course. I don't know exactly how to do this without getting caught in the process. Yeah, I read a little bit of the comics. They're pretty good. I, I like the first one. It's actually pretty gritty. You know, uh, like Shredder? Unlike the cartoons and the movie and stuff like that, he's only literally in one comic, the first one. And then he's killed. He's a very minor character in the comics. He dies in the first comic. I mean, they clone or... Yeah, I think they clone him later on, but like... Him as a person... Lasted a grand total of one comic. Who goes there? Huh? Where... Where are my gods? Got a store chain in Kansas City. Carry a ton of comics. Did you ever buy any comics from them? Oh, I think you said you, you bought like some vintage video games from some store. I don't know if it was them though. Oh no, what am I supposed to do? See, this is what happens when I don't pay attention. The weird spider lady, I think she's the boss of this level, but fortunately I totally missed what I'm supposed to do. Okay, pickpocket contested three times, alright. Sandman comics? You mean the DC Sandman, right? The Marvel Sandman. Yeah, the DC Sandman. I never, uh, I never read that one. <laughs> I once got some uh, comic cards, some DC comic cards. I got them by accident. I didn't even want them. Because I wasn't a DC fan when I was a kid. I was a Marvel fan. And I remember seeing the Sandman. I got one of the Sandman cards. And I was like, what the fuck is this? This is not the real Sandman. Because I was so used to the Marvel Sandman. Isn't it weird calling it DC Comics? <clears throat> Doesn't the C stand for comics? Yeah, DC stands for Detective Comics Comics. <laughs> yeah, so. Detective Comics. 
kind of a weird name in general. Like, I'm assuming, like, they call it Detective Comics because, like, Batman, he's, like, a detective. I don't know. I have no idea why they call it Detective Comics. Like, back in those days, maybe there were more, like, mystery comics or something, and then they kind of decided to go a different direction. Batman originally was a violent character. He, like, used guns and stuff like that. But then there was like a moral panic, like, oh no, you can't have that. Killing is wrong, and so they changed him to a non-violent character. Luckily, they're kind of changing that now with the movies, like Ben Affleck's Batman. I think he's more murderous, which I actually like. No problem, X infected. Alright, I... I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do. I guess I gotta go all the way back. Is DC better than Marvel? <laughs> it, it's all personal preference. Like, growing up, I preferred Marvel. And from what I heard in the comic community, there is a Marvel bias, like, Marvel's more popular. And Marvel has more movies, and they definitely make more money. The Marvel comic book movies, they definitely make more money. I mean, there are some exceptions. Of course, Batman, you know, The Dark Knight was huge. But let's face it, like, some of the recent uh, DC movies, they haven't really done well, critically at least. Um, like, I, I saw... I saw Batman vs. Superman. Like, I, I heard the reviews for that were not good, but I actually liked it. Um, it was a bit long, but I mean, I still enjoyed it. Oh, Wonder Woman, yeah. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. I might watch it. Probably not in the theaters, but I'll probably watch it eventually. I, don't, I have no idea how to get up there. Um... Then you had uh, Suicide Squad, that was critically panned. I haven't seen that yet, but I will. So I'll tell you guys what I think of that as soon as I see it. Um, but you know, my opinion does kind of differ from, I think I might have to go up this way. It does kind of differ from what the critics often say, so. But that's what's going on. You know, the latest DC movies, they really haven't done well critically. They're going to be making a new Batman, uh, Ben Affleck Batman. So I hope that's good. Actually, you know, there was a big controversy surrounding Ben Affleck playing Batman. They didn't like that. Okay, there she is. Okay, got it. See, this is going to be tough because, like, if I get caught again... I might have to start all over again. See, now she has like three of her henchmen behind her. Oh yeah, Injustice, you mean? Yeah, Injustice Gods Among Us. They're, they're actually making a, a sequel to that, Injustice 2. So... Oh no. So what, what did you think about the fighting game? Like, I thought it was pretty good. It's like Mortal Kombat. Because it's made by NetherRealm Studios, the same guys who make uh, Mortal Kombat. I gotta wait. <laughs> the game seemed pretty lame. It's a fighting game. It's hard to stream a fighting game. You know, single player especially. You know, there are people who stream fighting games, but they play competitively. Can you agree with Rose? It's a fun game to fun game to play. Please tell me I don't have to start over from the beginning. Please. Okay, good, good, good. That's good. We don't have to start all over. Yeah, yeah, that's true. There are some games, you know, they might be fun to play, but, you know, not 
fun to watch, I understand. Playing against your boyfriend? Are you good at video games? What the see? What the fuck? Like it, it's those stupid lights. I have to contend with not only them, but also, but also like the spotlights, and they're everywhere. Oh great! And then there's a guy up here too. Like they can see me. It's just Contessa can't see me. Depends what you're playing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good at phone games. Chloe is a master of Flappy Bird. Not too bad in Street Fighter, really? Oh, cool. I only played a little bit of Street Fighter 2. I got the HD remix for the PlayStation 3. I played that a lot. Assassin's Creed? I actually never played Assassin's Creed. I've had several people say I look like Ezio, but I never played those games before. Ever. Is his name Ezio or Ezio or whatever his name is? They keep saying that. <laughs> I'm like, I never played those games. Cod. <laughs> Cod sucks. Okay. Third Strike? Yeah, I played a little bit of Third Strike. The animation in that game is great. I, I prefer Guilty Gear. I think Guilty Gear X2 is the best 2D fighting game. I love that game. Played it to death. Um... But even I can see that uh, Third Strike has slightly better animation. Like, it's, it's more fluid, a little bit more fluid. But Guilty Gear X2 has better graphics overall. Like, much better graphics in terms of, like, art. But, uh, yeah, Third Strike animation's a little bit better. A little bit more smooth. The thing I don't like about Third Strike, though, is that it has a lot of really forgettable characters like Seven and Necro like these are characters that are pretty much universally reviled I mean they're just weird <laughs> you know and the, they don't look like they belong in a, a Street Fighter game it looks like it belongs in like some I don't know, like an alien game or something like that, because they, they look like aliens. All st oh, Sonic, uh, Sonic, uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. All Stars Racing, yeah. That's, a. Uh, it's a kart game, Mario Kart uh, like game. I never played it, but I want to. It's a, it's for the PC, so I can I can probably get it one day. I don't know why I'm fighting this guy. I'm just wasting time. I see where Contessa is, and I have to get to her. But then I destroyed the thing that lets me climb up on top of this thing. How do I get over there? Okay. Can we make it? Yes. Yeah, actually, Sonic had several racing games. Um, it started with Sonic Drift 1 and 2 on the Game Gear. Those were kind of pretty clear Mario Kart clones, but um, the gameplay-wise, it was more similar to just a regular racing game rather than a kart game. And then there was Sonic R. That was for the Sega Saturn. That, that had mixed reactions. Some people like it. 
I never play it, but I love the music. It's so good. And then, yeah, there were t there were actually two Sega All Stars Racing games. The second one um, had like a transforming vehicle gimmick, like the, the vehicles could transform, so they called it like Sega All-Stars Racing Transformed or something like that, I don't know, like the vehicles could transform. <laughs> I never played them, but they looked pretty good. There was also, um, there was also a, a little big planet ra kart racing game too. I actually have it, but I never played it. Or I haven't played it yet. I'll play it one day. Unfortunately, I heard that game wasn't good. At least it didn't get very good reviews. It was described as disappointing. But probably not totally bad. I don't know what's bad about it. I mean, how can you mess up a kart racer? Maybe the level design's bad? Growing up, um... There was a game called Wacky Wheels for the PC. That was actually published by Apogee. That's where that piece of shit Joe Siegler works, or used to before he got fired. Uh, oh no, there she is. That's what I played when I was a kid. Because I didn't have video game consoles. We had PCs, so we had to use that. But it was still really good. The other one. Oh no! Have you ever played Coconut Cart? No, I never heard of that. What was that for the PS1? Man, I got all the way up to her, but then I fucked up at the end. Doesn't actually exist. <laughs> See, Nilavani's trolling me again. Oh, I, like if I said, oh yeah, yeah, I definitely played Coconut Cart. <laughs> it's like you know that I'm just bullshitting you. <laughs> See, Nilavani's, she, she does this like cult trolling thing from time to time. And now we gotta guess whenever she's bullshitting us. But sometimes I forget that she does this. <laughs> X infected, he falls for it every time. He always thinks she's telling the truth. And like, even when it's so obvious that she's just trolling us, he always falls for it. He's like, really? There's, there's racist pigs in Stardew Valley and they can vandalize your fence and abduct your wife? Really? I can't believe that. How do you defend against it? You gotta make defenses, electric fences. I'm like, no, no, X infected. She's just trolling us. Sometimes I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, so that's why I said to him, like, look, from now on, you gotta be more skeptical. So she's gonna troll us from time to time. But, you know, he falls for it anyway. Let's get it. Gotta get closer. What? Huh? Where are those lazy bodyguards? They're all fired. Great work. Now we're all set up to steal a tank. <laughs> Coconut milk is good though. Yeah, I use it. 
We use that all the time in cooking. It gives like a very creamy, like it's kind of like the cornerstone of a curry. It gives it like a creamy texture to it, creamy flavor. It's really good. It's also used in Thai curries a lot, like red curry, yellow curry, and stuff like that. <clears throat> oh no! But I, I'm assuming like like what? How do you? How do you can- oh, there, there's X-Infected now. Speak of the devil. We were just talking about you, X-Infected. We are just saying all kinds of stuff. So, like, how, how do you... What do you use coconut milk for, Nolavani? Do you use it in cooking, or do you just drink that shit, like, straight? <laughs> straight out of the can? Filipino curry. I gotta try Filipino curry one one day. That sounds pretty good. Well, coconut milk doesn't really taste like coconut, you know? It's just used in cook cooking. You know, like how you use baking soda in cooking? Like, if you try to eat baking soda by itself, it's not gonna taste good. But, you know, it's a critical ingredient in a lot of recipes. You know, coconut milk is the same way. You'd be surprised just how, uh, how good it is. Like, have you ever tried any Indian food, Chloe, or...? Like, maybe, have you ever tried, uh, oh, crap. Ever tried, like, chicken tikka masala? I heard that's pretty popular in England. Actually, tic chicken tikka masala? That's not actually an Indian food, that's a British food. <laughs> Coconut milk straight from the bottle? I can't tell if she's serious or not. Like, I don't know of a single person that... That does that. She's gotta be trolling me again. Don't like spicy food? I hear ya. Nullabani's the same way. Oh yeah, yeah, there's some puddings. Like, there's like, uh, is it... Is it in the rice pudding? I can't remember. It's in smoothies. Oh wow, I didn't even know that. So, like, what kind of, like, you can make that with a strawberry smoothie? <laughs> Actually, I would like to try that. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going back into the prison. Chicken tikka mis ala. <laughs> Yeah, chicken tikka masala is good. You ever had that? Oh no! Oh no! X Infected's Filipino, so he's all on top of the spicy food thing. Coconut milk, blueberries, and some yogurt. You know what? I got a better idea. This is this is driving me nuts. Let's just. Save and quit. I'm not too crazy about blueberries, if I'm totally honest. Um, you think it would work with strawberries? I had like when I was younger, I would eat blueberries off the bush, and then it would give me headaches, and sometimes I would throw up. I think it's because they were spraying the bushes with pesticides, and maybe, like, I just didn't rinse them off. But I'm not really sure. Boyfriend loves spicy food. He will eat anything. And there's me complaining about how much my tongue is burning. <laughs> Strawberries, add bananas into it. Okay. So just combine, combine the two. Alright. I'll, I'll try that. So, look, 
let's head there. It's not very intuitive how to head there. You know what? Let me see if I can purchase that uh, glider yet. Ghost peppers? Never heard of ghost peppers before. You ever heard of ghost peppers, Nilavani? You ever try those kinds of peppers? Well, let's sell this. Sell that. I just don't want to buy all this stuff. I don't even know if this stuff is good. I just want to save up. Oh, you have heard of them. But never eat one? Yeah, I never I never heard of ghost peppers before. Oh hey Kate. I'm gonna need a few of those. Which one which one should I do I need? Here, let me go back. <clears throat> which one should I get? I want the glider. I heard I get it next level. You mean for Sly I need it? Alarm clock? Okay. I only have 765, but alright, I might as well just get it now. Alright. Let me, uh, let me map it. So, confuse your enemies with this distracting alarm clock. All right. All right. How you doing, Kate? You're having internet problems? That's the worst. Spicy cowboy? <laughs> Eat a bu bunch of different peppers and spicy food. Um, yeah, that reminds me of that other guy, um, L.A. Beast, that's his name. He would eat all kinds of crazy things. Disgusting things. Like, really toxic shit. Sometimes it was even spoiled. I think it was affecting his health, so he, he took a, a sabbatical from that shit. <laughs> Maybe a permanent sabbatical. Don't think you need anything else for a while? Okay. He would get aroused from how spicy food can be. <laughs> He's into some kinky fucking shit. Chrome was being a bitch. Oh, jeez. Ah! You know what? How do I get over there? Why did I do that? <laughs> there was no reason for me to do that. Alright, so I'm gonna say right now, like, my biggest complaint about this game is figuring out how to get to the mission. It's just sometimes unnecessarily cumbersome, and I swear. Like, I know Sly 3 was like this too, but Sly 3 gave you more opportunities to get on top of buildings. And... Like, right here, like, I'm kind of confined to the ground a lot, which is kind of irritating me. I don't have a good vantage point to see where I'm going. Like, I, and there's, like, buildings all over the place, so it's really hard to see where I need to head to. And this happens all the time. It wasn't too bad at first, but it, it is becoming more of a problem now. I'm sorry, Kate, I'm just being honest, you know. I understand. But I swear, Sly 3, like Sly 3 didn't have a direct route either, you know, but yet, I swear, like, I did not have this much of a problem getting to the missions. It's and then stuff like this will happen, like those gargoyles. How are you supposed to sneak past those gargoyles? Like, I mean, then I'm in for a fight whether I like it or not. I'm sure there's supposed to be some way to get past the gargoyles without setting them off, but... 
See, like, right there. Like, how the fuck? That, is that... How's that fair? This is supposed to be a stealth game. No problem, Nilavani. You can't. But the bridge is the only way I know how to get to where I think I'm supposed to go. There are other ways. I'm sure there are, but anyway. You know, I'm just uh, critiquing the game from the perspective of someone who isn't very familiar with the game, someone who's playing it for the first time, because... I am playing it for the first time. I'm sure this game would be a lot better on a second, third, fourth playthrough. You know, once you know what you're doing. Well, these are the train tracks. I don't know, maybe there are other train tracks. I can definitely see this game being a lot better once you know exactly where to go and what to do. Because the core gameplay is still rock solid. You know, it's just a lot of the same kinds of kind of gameplay that. Uh... Oh, so I'm supposed to get into the prison? Okay. I didn't even know that. I think I know how to get into the prison. See, like, right here. And Kate, I don't think there's a map in this game. I checked everywhere. Oh, welcome back, Noah Vani. Back, the soundtrack in this game reminds you of Fable? Really? Oh, there it is. Yeah, there isn't. I think... I think you said before that there was a, a map. I don't know, maybe I could be misremembering, but, you know, <laughs> whatever. Mike, I need your help getting a handle on the Contessa's encryption algorithm. I'd love to, pal, but I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, I'll explain it to you one piece at a time. See that security station? The guard nearby is responsible for its upkeep. I'm with you. First, I'll need you to pickpocket his key to the terminal. Sure, no problem. Then use it on the security station to set off the alarm. Hold up. You want me to set off the alarm? Yeah, set it off, then clear out as the guard's sure to come running. Once he sees that it's a false alarm, he'll input the code to turn it off. So you want me to take a picture of the code? Move to a safe place and get a clean shot of that digital readout. Should I hit all the security stations out here? That's right. Once I've got a large enough sample of the Contessa's codes, I should be able to crack her encryption algorithm. Uh, now, see, you lost me again. Just take the pictures. I'll handle the rest. <laughs> all right. So, we gotta take pictures of... Wait a minute. Hold on. What do we gotta do? Pickpocket the guard uses key to set up the security station. Then get a shot of the code when he turns off the alarm. Oh, okay. Alright, um... I gotta find the guard. There's one. All right, we got the key. Nice work. Now use that key to set off the security station. You won't comment on this mission? Trying to avoid spoilers? It's all right. You know, I don't really care. <laughs> it's fine. I, I, I can use all the help I can get, really. Somewhere outside the prison? Okay. <laughs> Wait.
What game will be next? You said uh, maybe a Togi, right? Can I see here? I gotta keep see from there. Ah, I fucked up. Let's try that again. Yeah, you wanna do a Togi? Okay, now climb to a good spot where you'll be able to get a picture of the security code on the monitor. Togi, a Togi. Alright. Zelda? <laughs> the problem is, is Nilavani hates Zelda. <laughs> Too close. There we go. Yeah, I, I, like, I, it, it's, it's a mystery to me. Oh, hey. Hey, love. I like that new nickname, love. Hey, love. <laughs> You're driving at the same time. <laughs> driving while watching the stream. That that's dedication. Albeit slightly dangerous. Ben used to call me that. None of my other exes did, nor does Logan. Oh, I see. He used to call you love. Hey, look, it's Chloe. Mm. So it's that's outside of the prison. It looks like there's quite a few. Let's go to that one, I guess. Infected gets up at 5 a.m. Now that's dedication. <laughs> Alright, so we have to go outside. Alright, so let's see, how do I get out? You guys want to do a vote? Shall we vote on it? Both are good to me. Like, the only thing I'll say is that... I think Otogi is a much shorter game. So... If, if I were to stream Otogi first, we could get to Zelda afterwards. So the vote is between Zelda and Atogi. Well, more like what game you guys want to see next. <laughs> like, both are great to me. I love both games. I don't know. I gotta get to a vantage point. Ah, fuck. So what, what do we have so far? Uh, X-Infected votes Zelda. Lo Love votes Zelda. So two votes for Zelda. Nilavani votes Togi. Uh, Chloe says she doesn't mind whatever game. We gotta wait for Zaxi Boy. Yeah, Togi's shorter, so... Um... You know, that that's... Like one of the things, we could, because I know Zelda's a longer game. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to Zelda sooner or later. Zelda's a pretty long game. Yeah, how do I do this? Okay, I think... Let 
maybe you'll end up liking it. I hope so, because like that's a classic game. Okay, so I can... I would have to be here. Well, we should, we should wait. I mean, if we're gonna do a vote, we should wait for... Zach's... No, there's... There's also Zaxy Boy to consider. Alright, got it. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. He's probably gonna vote for Zelda. Togi's a great game too, though. Like, a Togi, a, like I said before, a Togi is like, it's Neo before Neo even existed. It's exactly what Neo was before Neo was around. <laughs> Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing, Kate. There are some Zelda games that do suck. Skyward Sword, that definitely sucks. It's a terrible game. The DS games also... I beat both of the DS games. They're not that good. Like, Phantom Hourglass. I just couldn't get used to those touchscreen controls. They added nothing to the game. Um, and then there was Spirit Tracks. I actually did beat both, though. I did beat both. I made a point to do it. They weren't horrible, but, like, I can't imagine ever wanting to play them again. In fact, I, I don't want to play them ever again. Skyward Sword, on the other hand, is just terrible. It's awful. I hate it. That is garbage. Never seen anyone get get one from that far away. The picture. <laughs> All right. How do I, how do I how do I get over there? <laughs> Hope you're dying, yo. I thought you're rooting for me, love. That's the, that's the front entrance. Obviously, I can't go through there. Like, the motion controls in Skyward Sword... Oh, I can get that one, I guess. The motion controls in Skyward Sword... They're, they were neat at first, but they get old fast. It's like, oh! Oh, no. It's like, oh, okay, this is neat. But then it's just... Okay, I gotta, I gotta swing vertically now. Okay, I gotta swing horizontally now. That, that is the only strategy in the game. <laughs> Don't die. Oh, okay, thank you, love. <laughs> Cutting down lumber. Lumber man! Zach should have his like, own song. Call himself Lumber Man! Zach's the lumberjack. L Zach's the lumberjacks. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the the combat. Zach's me living off the grid. I, at first I read that as living off gold. <laughs> so like you know in like uh, Stardew Valley, chop down wood and then sell for gold. <laughs> Zaxi Boy is selling his lumber for gold. Alright. I really should have killed that guy, shouldn't I? Oh well, I'm out of energy too. Oh no! Oh no! Please, please don't have to start all over. Please don't have to start all over. Okay, good. I have to give credit to this game where credit is due. It, it knows when you do not want to have to start all over again, so that's good. Buy bags of chips? What kind of chips? 
Oh yeah, he does need to input the code. So how do I get to... I don't know, like he's guarding it. So I guess I gotta just do it quickly. Let's see, where am I supposed to go? I don't see it. Sly 4? You know, the funny thing is, Sly 4 is so bad, it made Kate cry. She literally cl cried playing that game. Nah, I'm just kidding. She... It, it wasn't so bad that it made her cry, but she did cry playing that game. Isn't that right, Kate? Nilavani, did you ever cry playing a video game before? I don't think Sly 4 is bad, right? I mean, I never played it, and the reviews for it were pretty good, from what I remember. Two hot Cheetos, purple Doritos, barbecue Lay's, hot, hot fries. Purple Doritos. I think the bag is purple. I think I've seen that before. The purple Dorito bag, but I can't remember what uh, flavor that is. I would take uh, the barbecue lays. Those are pretty good. I had those before. A certain level that I absolutely hated for more reasons than one. A few frustrating missions. It's just meh. I tr we did more than I thought I would. Don't think you would play it again. Okay. <laughs> Teary-eyed from Life is Strange? Ah, I need pal. Oh yeah, Life is Strange. I need to play that game. I heard, I heard of it. So may try hard cry when they do an online game. I do actually have Sly 4, um, I'll play it, me and Rose have been waiting forever for you to play it, oh really? So you did request it, yeah, now that I think about it, I think you guys did request it. Alright, I'll look into it, I'll look into it, and uh, maybe, maybe I can stream that. So you're being serious about that, right? Like, you got teary-eyed? You're not just trolling me, are you? Okay, no vantage point. Vantage point. I gotta do this fast. I don't even know a good vantage point. Maybe over here? This should work. It's so sad at parts, okay. Gets a bit dark at points. I got teary-eyed from the credit sequence of Majora's Mask once or twice. That's a great game. Oh, you know, uh, Tornado Man. Uh, he actually got teary-eyed at the credits for A Link to the Past. He, uh, he's one of our friends from the A Link to the Past stream. And he had, he confessed he cried like a little baby <laughs> at, the, at the credits for A Link to the Past. Granted, my own writings make me cry, so that's not saying much. Hmm. Must be a good writer. <laughs> if it makes you cry. Coming pain in my left knee. Fuck my life. I bet if I actually p played stories in my games, I would cry. I cry in like every movie. What was the last movie that made you cry, love? Only game to ever make me outright cry was, cry was Sly 4. But those were, those were tears of pain though, right? It's not like tears of sadness. Or it, was it like tears of like frustration? I heard some, some girls cry when they get mad. <laughs> Any pal, as my friends say too, that makes me a sap. Everyone's different.
Nilvani, you cry when you get scared, right? Oh shit, shit! I hit the wrong thing. No, wrong button, run button. See, that was a big, big fuck up. I was supposed to, uh, supposed to push the wrong button. Cry when I get mad all the time. Then I get mad. Then I'm crying. <laughs> Depends, depending on how scared I am. <laughs> oh, nay. X Effect is a man. He doesn't cry at video games. Huh? Chloe cries easily. <laughs> And D bags. It happens. We all make mistakes. All right. Tears of frustration. Something happened to a certain character that made me tear up a little. Oh, really? Honestly, like, if it happened to Bentley, I probably wouldn't care at this point, because he's so irritating as a character to play as. At least in this game, he's so much better in Sly 3. I mean, he's still not perfect in Sly 3, but he's still better. I need to get a better vantage point. I don't see any place to climb. Is there enough time? Uh, can we go this way? Alright, I'll try that again. Ever plan on playing it? Sly 4? Yeah, I'll play it one day. I don't know if I'll be able to stream it. Because I don't have a capture card, but... Whoa! Wrong thing. But, yeah, I mean, I'm, I have the game, so... <laughs> It would be kind of a waste of money if I never play it, if I bought it, but, like, I'm never gonna play it. Nah, I'll play it one day. Okay. Yeah. Ugh. I don't know. I mean, you can kind of... Sp I don't know. Does anyone care if Kate spoils this, like, scene in Sly 4? I don't really care that much. Did you just buy all the slides at once one day? Actually, um, what happened was, uh, I was in a, I was on a big uh, platforming kick, and then I discovered the Sly series on the PS2, and like this actually went under my radar, which is not surprising because I mean a lot of people here they never even heard of Sly before, um, so. I, uh, I bought the, the I bought basically all the PS2 Sly games at once, uh, and then I got the PS3 Sly game, uh, you know, long time afterwards. And you know, maybe this actually could have worked. No, Levani doesn't mind. Anyone else minds? Capture card's expensive. Okay, no problem, love. I didn't ask uh, Lovely what she thought of that nickname. I should ask her when she gets back. I don't even know if she likes it. I keep fucking up. Because there's enemies on top of here and they keep respawning. <laughs> X infected mines. <laughs> X infected does not want it spoiled. Really? X infected, you, you you are really into the story, huh? What am I doing? I gotta go over here. Alright, X-Infected Mind, so you, you don't need to tell us, Kate. We'll, 
We'll cross that bridge when we when we get to it. Okay, this does not good act angle. We'll have to go over here, I guess. So, so you like the story of the Sly games, X Infected? Maybe you can help me understand it, because actually I don't really know that much about what's going on. I've been having a hard time concentrating. Too far. Damn it! on what it is. Like if it's something that, like, like, if I'm totally honest, I don't really care that much about the story in the Sly games, mostly because I haven't been able to follow it, follow it that well. But yeah, if, it, if it's something that, like, I really care about, I'm totally into the story, then yeah, definitely, I, I don't want it spoiled. Um... Like, Blitz, she would always spoil shit. Like, she, she loved giving out spoilers all the time. I heard, like, she would tell me about how she would spoil things for some of her friends, and some of her friends actually stopped being friends with her because she spoiled some stuff. <laughs> some people just love telling other people about spoilers. They just, they, they love to tell you all about it. Still there, still there. Got it. Got it. Okay, got it. that should be enough code. Nice work, partner. Spoiled Harry Potter 6 for my uncle once? Yeah, I think... Yeah, Harry Potter was spoiled for me too. At least part of it was. But honestly, like... Some stuff was spoiled for me. But, like... After the last two movies... <laughs> I don't give a flying fuck about those... about Harry Potter anymore. Those last two movies were terrible. Hearing a huge plot twist on all on your own without anyone spoiling it. Oh, yeah, of course. If it's something that, you know, we're invested in and the story's really good, no one, yeah, you don't want it, you don't want that spoiled. You know, stuff I don't care about, like some anime that I'm never gonna watch, you know, go, go right ahead, spoil it. <laughs> I'm not gonna watch it anyway. Or something that, you know, that I'm not too invested in the story. I'm sure the story in this game is good. Um, 
but you know. I just haven't been able to follow it that well. How about everyone else? Are you follow you guys following the story of slide two? Like you guys know all everything that's going on? Like all I know is that we're trying to break Murray out of prison right now. He's in prison. Honestly, I can't even remember how he got into prison, but whatever. Anybody know the spoiler of what happens in five years? I give up. Spoil it for us. We get a new president, I hope. We're playing again just to learn the story. Yeah. Yeah, him and Kate probably can explain this better. Him and uh, Murray and oh yeah yeah. The f also the fox wasn't she implicated? W was low. Um, at the end of his presidency. Trump has the lowest approval rating at the beginning of the presidency. Probably just gonna get lower here on out. Carmelita, yeah. So I don't get it. Like, why, why is she, like, in slide three, she's still trying to catch Sly. I thought, like, they, they, she had the brains to figure out, like, oh yeah, m maybe you and Sly should get together. If not, e if not in a romantic way, at least in a friendship way, because he keeps saving your life. Oh no, but you know, she's a by the book kind of gal. <laughs> A little, a little too much, a little too bu by the book. She's too much of a deontologist. How do I get up there? Honestly, I haven't used that alarm clock thing yet. Actually, no, no, I did use it once, I think. Yeah, I think I, I, think I did. Just once. Hooks to the right of the tower. Let me see. Leading to the wall around the prison. Kinda hard to see. what it is but it's like the camera like it's not horrible but like sometimes it gets stuck too easily like too often I have to look at the sky and then it gets stuck that's a problem oh here we go Do I need to see the movie Logan on Friday? Who invited you? Oh, isn't that the new Wolverine movie? Honestly, I don't even have that much interest in watching that movie. Looks a little old and tired. I'm sick of all the Wolverine movies. 
They should have never made him a protagonist. Why am I, like, being so hesitant? Look, Bentley, with all due respect, it looks an awful lot like a water tower. Don't be fooled. That's what she wants you to think. If we try to free Murray while that thing is operational, why... What, we'll have plenty of fresh drinking water? I'm serious, Sly. Of course. I do owe you one. The lightning rods around the prison are designed to draw lightning strikes away from the water tower. A uh, giant attack robot. Uh-huh. Yeah. By turning the wheels on the rod, you should be able to redirect the electrical current away from its ground wire. Dialogue is, hal dialogue is hilarious. Follow the lightning strikes to locate all five rods. Okay, so you want me to break the ground circuit on all these lightning rods so that a bolt will strike and destroy the giant attack robot posing as a water tower. That's an accurate summation. <laughs> So what am I supposed to do? What does this do? Clear when the lightning rod starts to glow red. That means the lightning bolt is on the way. Oh wow. Damn it. I was not supposed to do that. I'll just let, I'll let him kill me. Rotate each one once, okay. Let's try that again. Jeez, I got zapped anyway? So I have to, <clears throat> I have to find, um, so these lightning, this lightning rod's already taken care of, right? So I have to find other lightning rods. Oh no, I, I was holding down circle, I don't know what happened. Maybe over there? This was my second least favorite of the game, really? The only thing is, like, I don't know exactly where to go from here. It's not really telling me. Okay, I gotta go over there. I see it. Hey, Zax, are you still here? Is Zax still here? You gotta vote on uh, what game we play next. The vote is between Atogi and Zelda Ocarina of Time. What does your vote go towards? There's a lightning strike over there. <laughs> so what's the vote? What's the vote now? Nilovani voted for Togi, X Infected, Love. Did Love vote for a Zelda?
Like, the only thing I'll say is that, you know, Atogi is a shorter game. I would have sworn lightning hit over here. Oh, wait. Over there. I don't get it. Like, lightning is hitting over here, but I don't see the controls. It's hitting over there, too. Okay, so Kate... Kate voted for I don't really care. <laughs> Longer game than shorter game? Like, see, that's the thing, like... It's better to stream the shorter game first, then we can get to the longer game. But, okay. If that's what how the vote goes, then that's how the vote goes. Zelda's a great game, though. I promise. Yeah, Ocarina of Time and then Majora's Mask. So maybe I should play a, a Togi first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rose always Rose always votes with Nolavani anyway, so we'll 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 give well I'll put that in, in, in Nolavani's category. How do I get up there? But yeah, Kate's making a good point, you know, after Ocarina of Time we're gonna go for Majora's Mask anyway, so So how about it? Come on. I don't get it. I, I would have sworn it was up here. Oh no, it's over there. Well, how do I get over there? Uh, oh wait, I see it. There we go. Got it. Alright, that's two. <laughs> X infected is being adamant. You climbed the rope, genius. Ah, bro. Like a Togi, yeah, yeah, a Togi, then Ocarina of Time, then Majora's Mask. <laughs> X infected. Poor X infected. Milovani's being very gracious. <laughs> because Nilavani, she feels bad for X Infected, and I, I get it. I get it. We should ask Zax, though. Zax, what do, what do you think about Kate's idea? What do you think about uh, streaming? I'm trying to figure out where to go. I can't see anything from here. Zex, what do you think about streaming a Togi first, then Ocarina of Time, then Majora's Mask? I really don't know where this other thing is. Is, is it over there? I think I see it over there, yeah. <laughs> no, funny spots are equal to three. Where 
a sexy boy. And these guys, they keep coming. Alright, where is the next one? I think I see it over there. Oh, there it is. Shorter games? Yeah. Alright, so we, we got the consent of Zax. What about X Infected, though? Are you sticking by your, your guns, X-Infected? If X-Infected isn't gonna cave, then we gotta we gotta wait for love to come back. We gotta we gotta see if X-Infected is totally out outclassed by his peers. Cybernator? Poor X infected. I feel bad now. <laughs> uh, did you ever familiarize yourself more with Cybernator? When the last stream of it was too hard. Oh, I haven't played Cybernator since the the stream. We'll wait for love. We'll ask her what she thinks. Okay, one more. Let's see, where's the lightning striking? Over there, on the other side. Just wait for love then. Oh, yeah. Oh, where's the lightning? Oh, there it is. Okay, so I gotta get there somehow. Um, I think I can get there just actually get this way. <clears throat> so what's going on with your internet, Kate? It's not, uh, it's not fast enough? Karaoke CDs? I remember karaoke. They still have that? Oh no. Why is this not working? Come on, I'm about to die. Why is this not working? I hit all three of those things. 
lightning striking like every two seconds. Okay. not working. Oh, I flipped the first switch twice. Okay. This th the lightning is hitting every two seconds. I'm about to die. Which one am I missing? I can't really tell. Okay, there we go. To your recent efforts, we're ready to attempt a Murray rescue. I call this plan the Trojan Tank. Step one, we use the Contessa's keys to steal one of her tanks. I'll jump in and drive while you keep out of sight by crawling underneath. Bentley's so pretentious, but I love him anyway. The guards won't notice I think it's just anything a mask of insecurities. And open the prison gates for us. He's a little we arrogant, uh, in, and then a little insulting. The Thank you, X-Infected. And I hate playing inside, as him. You'll need to improvise but I hear you. Way up to the guard control center and open the doors leading down to solitary confinement. Let's hope Murray hasn't cracked under the Contessa's hypnosis. I think I gotta play as Sly, right? Oh no, I gotta play as Bentley. Okay, Sly, I'm heading out for the tank. Hijack the tank, all right. I wish you could run like that infinitely. I mean, he can get by enemies doing this thing. Literally half of my top 10 favorite games of all time list Zelda or Sly. 50-50 shot of being right and you got it wrong. What are you talking about? Oh crap. I'm inside the tank, increasing the ride height on the treads. There, that should give you enough room. Zelda, Zelda games are incredible. And Sly's not bad either. Crawl underneath this thing and let's get moving. Grab that. Where's the tank? So, why don't you give us your top 10 games of all time? I guess Sly, it was Bentley. Oh, it was in front of me? Great, I fucked up. I don't know, I, I couldn't see it for whatever reason. And now, being attacked by these guys. Ah, you know what? I'll, I'll just let him kill me. It's faster. Okay, let's try that again. There's a vid of Rosie O'Donnell screaming Trump is a liar, a white privileged criminal businessman. I would like to say to him, Nyet, sir, nyet, 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 nyet. <laughs> Alright, where is... You said it's right in front of me. Okay, I see it now. It was a little camouflaged. It was hard to see because like, the colors are all just kind of blending in. I can't see you down there, so try to. Oh shit! Nit. Yep. 
Nyet, 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 nyet. Probably because Trump is buddy buddy with uh, with Putin. So try to keep up I don't know. I have no idea. I, I, this is the first time I'm hearing of this quote. So we just gotta keep up with this thing. You know, this tank reminds me of the tanks from that game, uh, what is it called? Uh, Valkyria Chronicles, I think? We're approaching the prison gate. No, Vani, you... I think you it. got the, the remaster of that on the PS4? That's a great game. Suckers. I think there was a remaster on the PS4, wasn't there? Valkyria Chron... Am I think? Am I saying the right name? That's the, the tactical... Tactical uh, RPG? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I, I beat that game. It's great. Slide you two. Get out from underneath the tank before I let loose with a turret. Okay, let me just get out of here real quick. Slide two, Majora's Mask, Skyrim, Stardew, Terraria, Slide three, okay, Ocarina of Time, Oblivion, Minecraft, and Slide and one. Right so, Slide one being the best one. Okay, Oblivion is in your top ten. I'm sure Nilavani would agree with you on that. She's a big Elder Scrolls fan. Oh, Skyrim's also on there, too. Oh, so you like Oblivion more than... Or maybe I'm getting this reversed. Oh, okay, yeah, I am getting it reversed. Slide 2 is your favorite. Then Majora's Mask. Good. Down to the ground floor. Yeah, I figured. I, I just saw where Majora's Mask was, and then I was like, oh no, I, I got backwards. Because I know you love Majora's Mask. Yep. <laughs> she helped me out a lot with that game. I also beat Daggerfall. Okay, I beat it mostly Let's offline, but I beat the ending online. Well, that should be the guard's control center. But to be honest, I'm not sure how you're going to get up there. Don't worry about it. Thinking of my feet is what I do best. Most of the security went down when we cut the power on the bridge, but a few lights seem to have a backup generator. Be careful. All right. Oh no. Love Morrowind, such a good ass game. Yeah, that was a good game. Um, it did like a full review of it. Combat leaves a bit to be desired, of course. But mostly everything else about the game. Oh yeah, and also the. Um, I would have liked a, a better, a better path waypoint system. Actually, I would have liked a, a waypoint system because it didn't have a waypoint system at all. Uh, but other than that, it's a great game. Ah, oh, love! Just in time, okay. This is, this is a big decision. We're leaving it all up to you, love. Oh, by the way, my first question is, do you prefer love or lovely? Like, would you prefer if I call you love or lovely? <laughs> what do you like more? That's my first question. My second question is, we have been discussing and we, we're gonna leave it all up to you for Zelda or Otogi next. The current rationale is that what we can do is we can play Otogi first because it's a shorter game and then play Ocarina of Time and then Majora's Mask. <laughs> but we're leaving it up to you. We, we gotta... We need an answer. It's, it's very important. X Infected really wants to see Zelda. Nilavani really wants to see a Togi. <laughs> so we gotta leave it all up to you. Yeah, put. I'm trying to whack him off the. Oh crap! I'm trying to whack him off. Like I know, I know I'm not playing well. You know, it's because I'm trying to read the chat. And play at the same time. It's challenging. <laughs> it makes it more challenging. Okay, 
anyway, let me let me focus. So how do I where do I go? Looks like love is not uh, gonna commit to either one. <laughs> Kate is raging. I'm sorry, Kate. I'm not a master at Sly 2 like you are. This is the first time I'm ever playing this game. You gotta keep that in mind. I really liked Togi first, since you said it's shorter than Zelda. I like Zelda, but we should be fair. Make sure no Vine still gets her game. And I'm gonna think of it as saving the best for last, Zelda. The other consideration is X Infected. X Infected feels really sad that you know his his pick never gets picked. So you you gotta you gotta take that into consideration too. <laughs> And we all feel bad for X-Infected. See, Kate is raging. I don't know. I don't know why Kate's raging so much. Does anyone understand why, why Kate is raging? I really don't get it. I'm trying to read the chat at the same time. You do understand that. Okay, what's your idea, love? Ocarina of Time, then Otogi, then Majora's Mask. How's that sound to everyone? That's love's decision. I'm, I'm totally okay with that. Oh shit. Fell down. I'm all the way back down. Okay, the new vote is is Kate being totally unreasonable to me right now? That's what we're gonna vote on right now. That's what I'm interested in, in figuring out. Am I just like a spaz that can't see, or does Kate make a valid point and I can't see what's in front of me? Yeah, like, jeez, calm down, Kate. <laughs> I'm trying to read the chat at the same time. Like, oh no. It happens, man. <laughs> This way. <laughs> Kate has a point. But like, what about what about all the, like the caps and stuff? I don't okay that that's not my fault. I don't know what the fuck is going on with that. That's weird. All right. So, we'll do I've put my input I shall back away slightly as I do not fear the wrath of Kate. <laughs> All right. So, love gave us the final word. She took into account X infected's feelings. Exactly, see, X-Infected's on my side. We're gonna play Ocarina of Time, then Otogi, then Majora's Mask. So that's... That's the current rundown. Thank you, love. 
I know it was not an easy decision to make. I'm only gonna range at Enigma because he won't ban me. Are you sure about that? You're awfully confident about that. Nah, I'm just kidding. I know that you have like tough love or whatever. I'm curious, Kate, like are your parents kind of like severe with you? Like, do they say things like, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Because I'm assuming that's why you always do that. Oh no, 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 no! Ah. So how you feel, X infected? I hope you're feeling, uh... Has the, um, has the current, uh, what the fuck am I saying? The syllabus. How's the syllabus for the, no, that's not the right word. The schedule. How's the current schedule? How's the current schedule sound to you? Everything good? Feel great, great. I'm glad. No, Vani, you feel great. I know you. You think about X infected. You're very compassionate of his feelings. Parents are kind of verbally abusive towards you. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of got the impression that that's kind of what was going on. That's why you know. And I, I'm very tolerant to a certain point. To a certain point. <laughs> you know. But yeah, I, I kind of figured that's why the way you are what you are. Wh what? What? X, -infect X infected loves it. Okay, great. And Nilavani's all on board. Alright. And I have to do all that shit all over again. Okay. Let me. Please. Oh, the enemies are all back. Great. Yeah, I hear you, Kate. I mean, yeah, Kate has had some some problems with. Like, I I hate to. I had to take a talk on your behalf, Kate, but you know, I mean, since you brought it up, I feel like I should talk about it a little bit. You know, Kate has had some problems with that. Um, I I didn't know specifically that it was your your parents' fault, but I kind of guessed it was. Ah oh, no. I'm, I'm glad that, yeah, I, I know, you literally were suicidal, and, um, I don't know, like, I kind of want to, oh, jeez, I hate saying it's not completely their fault, yeah, but it mostly is, though, yeah, I kind of think and Kate does cut. Uh, I'm sorry for, you know, saying all this, but I feel that you know, maybe we can help you with that if we can. I know some people on your stream said that, you know, cutting is fine. I don't necessarily subscribe to that, but, you know, I do understand that it is the lesser of two evils, you know, between suicide and cutting, obviously, you know. I'd rather you cut than suicide, but, like, I, I don't want to say rather, because, like, both are obviously bad. It's just one is worse than the other. Yeah. I, know, I hope you can overcome those problems. You know. And... I mean, 
mean, if there's something specific causing it. Yeah. Obviously, I do hope that you can overcome it. And I told Kate, you know, if she ever does feel suicidal again, to call me, contact me. You know, I'm sure there's some people here that you could contact too. Because no one wants to see you, you go away or anything like that. Why the fuck? Why the fuck? Okay, so you, you went without cutting for three years, and then relapsed, okay. Yeah, that's a long time to go without it, so I'm glad you were able to do that. You know, hopefully you can overcome it again. Alright, well, now I'm actually confused about where I'm supposed to go. Where do I go from here? There's like a laser that's just right there, but I don't know where to go from here. I'm not seeing it. Anyone see what I'm supposed to do from here? I don't know. I don't want to fall back down. That's what I'm worried about. You go into the building you were on top of previously. There's a pipe. Uh, I don't see it. Where's the pipe? Uh, I see pipes over here. Do I do I have to go inside the cell? With the vulture. Oh, over there. Oh, okay. Okay. exactly how you mean. I am nowhere near being three years. I have had small lapses, but that all. I have some things I do that really prevent me from doing, so if you ever want to chat sometime or just vent, I'm sure parents I relate. Yeah. Yeah, I knew I knew the other people here like Love and, and everyone else would be very compassionate to you, Kate. That's, that's why I brought it up. Because I knew that they could help you too. Okay, I'm running your algorithmic code decrypt. Thank you so much, Love. You see anything happening down there? Love is a great Success! person. We've got access to solitary confinement. Hot stuff. I'm heading down. Follow Bentley through the gate. All right, so now we just go all the way down, right? I think. Uh, yeah, we just go down. Over here? Or not? Where's the gate? I missed it. I thought it was down here. I have to go all the way back up? Don't tell me I gotta go all the way back up. Was the gate in the room I was in? <laughs> What the fuck? 
It is down there. Where is it? I don't see it. This? Oh, I think, is that it over there? Yeah, I think that's it over there. Fuck. This must be it, right? Okay, there we go. Yeah, the delay sucks. I've never seen Murray like this. He's all twitchy and bug-eyed. You said Murray was being forced to eat spice, right? Yeah, he said he was feeling weird. Well, he's weirded it out, all right. I doubt he even knows we're here. Clearly, we're going to have to lure him out of that cell the hard way. This movie's so, the so bad way? on my TV right now. What's the movie? Those hypno boxes are all right, Kate, no problem. the effects of Spice. And he's already have in a good an agitated night. state. So if we turn them all on at the same time, we're okay. sure to become no problem. wildly hostile and probably break down the door. How do we turn on the hypno boxes? The power switches are all defended by laser barriers. When you get close, I'll hack the laser system. And I know how annoying it is to be told here. that it gets better that and to just not access. do it. So even if you're cutting or encouraging it, I'll Let's still it. even listen Anything to that. To old Murray. We could probably relate. Really if you have bad. Twitter or Instagram, we could talk. Yeah. Yeah, Kit has, uh. She has, uh. Twitter. Electra? Oh, yeah. That's the one. I forgot the name of that girl. What's her name? She was in Daredevil, too, and it, like, Electra was a spin off, but, like, everyone hated it. supposed to do Jennifer Garner yeah that's it turn on three hypno boxes okay so what's a hypno box this thing this is an alarm I think Be prepared for a slight southern accent, Nilavani. Kate has an accent. She'll deny it, but she does. It's not the thickest accent in the world. <laughs> but it's there. Where do I go? Yeah, but you got a little bit of a southern, southern drawl, little twang thing going. People in Pennsylvania, they got that. They got that. I know it. The green spinning things. Oh, so I just whack them? Yeah, what do you sound like, X-Infected? I never heard you before. You should, like, make a video or something. So I don't, I don't get it. Turn on the green? Like, how do I do it? Hmm. Nah, I'm pressing circle. It's not working. Yeah. Turn yeah, turn on the three hypno boxes, but I don't know how to do it. Is there an order? Not that one. Maybe the top one first. 
<clears throat> Alright, no problem. Will do, Kate. Will do. Oh yeah, maybe maybe this one. Oh wait, what is this? What's this thing doing here? Okay, I'm oh, okay. hacking the laser barrier. <laughs> oh great, one of these things. I like how Kate calls me a scrub, but she gave me completely wrong advice on what I'm supposed to do. Flattering, though. Flip the switch to turn on the hypno box. All right, now you're supposed to do that. What's that sound? Angry. Get. <laughs> yeah. According to Kate. But she didn't even know how to do this properly, so. Okay, not this one. We gotta do the other one. do it on either on any of them <sighs> I don't know um, it must be that one if I already looked at that <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I, I, I'm just going to the same ones over and over again, like hitting circle, and I swear, like nothing's happening. Am I missing something here? ideas yeah I guess I gotta go to the second floor I don't even remember how to get up oh here we go but um, once I'm here I don't really know what to do
Oh yeah, scrubs. I don't want no scrubs. A scrub is a da 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 da. That's a good song. Wish you knew more about these games. No problem. All right, maybe maybe I gotta just go over here then. Okay, I'll take yeah. Take care that's, of the laser wall. That's what it's. I don't know why. He he distinctly said I that to go to those hypno things. I don't know why. Anyway, whatever. No, I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. Hanging out on the passenger side of a best friend ride, trying to holler at me. I remember it. <laughs> That's a good song. a good song. So this is all I have to do. Pot, short and stout. Tip me over and I'll smash up everything. Oh! And I gotta get that one over there. Yeah, just in these child was good too. There was one song I really liked by Destiny's Child. I can't remember how it went though. I'm on it. Of the uh, one of the singers of uh, TLC, she died in a plane crash shortly before 9/11. Uh, that was Lisa Left Eye Lopez. She was a very beautiful woman. Uh, she died around the same time as Leah. Say my name. That was pretty good. There was also another one. How's it go again? Ah, oh, jeez, I forgot how it went. Bills, yeah, can you pay my bills? It, it's fast, the way it goes. I'm, I'm trying to think of it. It's on the tip of my brain. Anyway, whatever. I'll, I'll I'll find it and send it to you later. Yeah, me too. Especially that one song that I can't remember. It's good. 
fiance totally ditched them. Thank you, X-Infected. Oh, shit. Ah, my head! Who? What? Is this heaven? Sorry, pal. You're no angel. Just take a few deep breaths and try to center your thoughts. Okay. What's with all the racket? My conscious mind is a wreck. I ought to... The weak-minded hippo is free! And he's got friends! Hmm. Perhaps it's time to reevaluate some life choices. I'm serious. I managed to keep this half of the clockwork heart safe. It was hard to hide from the con... Oh, Contessa! She's getting away! Murray, lift those crank bars so we can chase after her. I'm on it! Okay. Oh, no problem, love. Oh, by the way, uh, I can't. I, I must have missed it. What do you prefer, love or lovely? <laughs> As a nickname. You lousy, no good head shrinker. Oh, come now, Mari. We were making such progress during our sessions. The only mental help that I need is to never be reminded of you again. Such displaced hostility. If you insist on getting angry, why not lift with be your psychologically legs. productive? Don't lift with your back, I'd lift with your legs. Your Unless you want to destroy your back. I'm done Either is fine. With my mouth. What's now everyone else calling her? With my fists. Sorry, but our time is up. Are we calling her love or lovely? I'll call her whatever everyone else is calling her. <laughs> What's the objective here? Do I have to actually ch catch up to? Crazy woman. Lovely. Okay. Oh, no. Lovely is very lovely. We'll find her. With the three of us back together, she doesn't stand a chance. That should be the end of the episode. Lovely is a lovely word. It is! A lovely word for a lovely girl. It was great! <laughs> the gang had been reunited and it was all because of me! Even the van ride out of town was like a party! Murray had to pull over twice because he was laughing so hard. But despite all the jokes, I think something had changed. Since childhood, the three of us had never been apart. And our recent isolation gave us all pause for thought. 
Needless to say, we took a few weeks off before getting back to work. And for the first time in my life, Murray let me drive. First dog is named Lovely. What kind of dog was it? Okay, we're on episode five, so how are you guys feeling? You, you want to see more, or are you guys tired? <clears throat> there, I think there's a total of eight episodes, so this is probably going to be longer than ten hours. Not really sure how long it's going to be, but I think I've been streaming for at least eight hours so far, at least. Seven or eight, somewhere around there. More? It's fine with you? Okay. Tangled web. Time for a little crossbred. The Contessa, having Ex escaped it's still good. prison, is now hiding out in her castle. More? Estate. Okay. It's a well fortified gothic nightmare that would make any thief run in terror. Terrible or not, that's where we're headed. To sweeten the deal, we've learned that the Contessa, who until recently was a secret member of the Claw Gang, is in possession of the Clockwork. Eyes. Should tomorrow? The Thievius Raccoonus I'll try. The eyes, stopping opponents dead in their tracks, transfixed in their gaze. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what an accomplished hypnotist could do with such powerful artifacts. News of the Contessa's corruption has spread to Interpol. Constable Neela, being closest to the case, was granted a cash allowance to hire an army of local mercenaries. It looks like we're walking into a full-scale war. But we have to act now, before things go from bad to worse. I remember how it goes now. The the Destiny's Child song goes like Lose my breath. That's the name of it. Cuz I lose my breath. Da, 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 lose my breath. It goes something like that. I'm I'm singing it horribly, but that <laughs> that's the song. That's a that's a good song. Lose my breath. 5 p.m. start time. Yeah, I used to do that. Paraglide. That's one. That's one I need. Yeah, that one, yeah. I like that one. Lose my breath. See, I shouldn't have bought that other stupid thing. It's all Kate's fault. She made me buy it. Alright, we can save up enough for it. Whoops. I was just looking around a little bit to see if there's any cash I can grab, but nah. Okay, this works. Okay, here's the plan. Okay, no problem, Exxon. First, take some recon photos around the area. Then make your way up to the re-education tower. Looks pleasant enough. Oh, and stay clear of tanks. You know, so you don't get blown up into little sticky pieces. <laughs> Paraglider ability would have been good right about now. Okay, now what? Oh, I'm just supposed to take a photo of it. Ah, oh, jeez. 
let me let me just restart. I'd rather just restart. Hold on. of Crash Bandicoot when he dies in water? Mm-hmm. They could be useful to hitch a ride. Like he <laughs> Sly can take a few more hits than Crash. Um but Crash Bandicoot only takes one hit unless he has Aku Aku. Gonna stream the new Crash Bandicoots, hell yeah. I can't wait until those games come out. Crash Bandicoot's one of my favorite platformers. I prefer the linear, you know, simple style. Like, these open world games, like, yeah, they're kind of nice, but honestly, like, I, for a platformer, I prefer just a linear style. The new Mario game, it's gonna be a non linear game, which, you know, some people like, but. I prefer the linear Mario games, 3D Mario games, like 3D World and Mal uh, Galaxy 2. It's just more fun. Not everything needs to be non-linear. And honestly, compared to Sly 1, I prefer Sly 1 over Sly 2. Sly 2 is still good, but I think Sly 1 is better. And it's more linear. When the new Crash releases, stream all, stream them all, one through three? Okay, yeah, definitely. You can have like a marathon. Yeah, all three are remastered. But actually before I streamed that, yeah, yeah, they're, they're actually the same games, just brand new graphics, everything looks really nice. But actually before I stream uh, the remastered series, I still need to stream uh, Crash, uh, Crash Bandicoot 2. I never streamed Crash Bandicoot 2. Was wanting Crash 2? Yeah, I can I can stream that. Yeah, the reason why I skipped it was because um, I I don't actually have that game on on the PlayStation. Like I don't have like a physical copy of it. Uh, I have Crash 1 and 3, um, but I can still play it on emulator. So that's how I'd have to do it. But yeah, I can do that. This thing's moving fast. Two's your favorite? Oh, so you you played those games? You 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 played Crash Two? Why can't I see this guy? I gotta go over here. I guess better vantage point. Oh no. You only played two? Did you beat it? <laughs> That's why you're, it's your favorite. Those are hard games, aren't they? Whoops, I keep going the wrong way. One is lame, have not played. I love, I love one. Very hard, yeah. But the question remains, did you beat the game though? I really should kill. 
kill this guy. Kind of annoying. Okay, I, I think I can. Yeah, I just can. It's the, just the blimp. The that's blimp all. The contestant used to escape from the prison. Maybe we could use it to our advantage around all these high towers. Oh, oh, oh I, I miss. I misunderstood. Uh, lovely. I thought you said one is lame. <laughs> I thought you were referring to Crash One. You were saying I is lame. Have not played. <laughs> okay. No, you're not lame. They're good games, though. I highly recommend them. Sorry for misunderstanding you. I'm I'm lame for not understanding you. <laughs> okay, I gotta go over there now. See, this is a good time. This would have been a great time for me to actually get. Oh wait, no. There's still. There's still something over there I gotta get. Oh no. Let me pickpocket this guy because I need the cash. Good. I really gotta do this more. So he's on the other side. Sometimes he comes over here, though. Oh, there he is. Ah, he ducked away. The Contessa's all geared up for war. Just our luck. Alright. Now that should be everything. Pocket that other guy. Let me kill this guy real quick. Supposed to jump the uh. boy. Wow, 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 wow. Please, please don't make me do all that over again. No, okay, we're good. Good. Oh, I just have to take a photo of it. What am I doing? My bad. That that's actually where I was supposed to go. Oh no, that is where I'm supposed to go. Well, what the fuck? Why is it not letting me go in there? Take photos, get into tower. Oh, jeez. Remember those organic looking tanks from uh, Angel's Egg? Those tanks are cool as fuck. I 
honestly still don't understand it though. I was trying so hard to figure out all the the meaning of that. This is not where I'm supposed to go. The meaning of the of the anime, but it is pretty vague, but still really good. I mean, vague in a good way. They leave it up open to interpretation. Amano. I just don't know, like, why did the guy... Why did the soldier guy destroy the egg? Like, why did he have to destroy the egg? I just, I'll never, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. And I want to know. It was so sad. Because she, she was at first, the girl was at first, like, kind of wary of the soldier, you know. Didn't trust him. And then once the soldier gained her trust, he betrayed it completely. <laughs> Don't know either. That was sad though, because like, he totally betrayed her trust. She was just an innocent girl. That was the only thing that mattered in, the, in that whole desolate world, was that egg. And then he smashed it. Like a D-bag. Okay, I actually don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Like, I, I went here a million times. What? Oh, are they supposed to shoot at this? I don't get it. Shoot it. Tower? Well, what the fuck? bombs though All right, I was thinking maybe I can bomb it but Bentley has bombs not not sly Wait, I got an idea I have an idea sort of actually I don't think it's gonna work what am I supposed to do here the attack. Yeah, it's not doing it. Yeah, I mean, it's been taking direct hits. It's not doing anything. Tarnation? Only on Looney Tunes from that redneck 
What's his name? Yosemite Sam. Remember that motherfucker? <laughs> Fucking racist Yosemite Sam. Woody Tornation! I don't know what to do. Like, if anyone actually says what in tarnation, they're obviously like the biggest fucking hick. <sighs> uh, I don't know what to do. Oh, I am supposed to take a photo of it. Like, what? Well, what the fuck? Why wasn't it working before? Jeez. Made a headquarters out of that old bank. It's a pretty secure location. It'll like, take some doing. Shit to drive like this around. drives me nuts. <laughs> Little okay, cousin says it. <laughs> Head off to the free education tower. I suspect that's where we'll find the clockwork eye. All right. This is unbelievable. I spent way too much time doing that shit. Now I gotta figure out how to get to that tower. I guess we can start by going this way. How old is your little cousin? Pocketing. All right, never mind. I don't have to kill all of them. Where do I go? This tower, right? I think. Just turned 10. Does he watch Looney Tunes? Is that where he got it from? Like Yosemite Sam and stuff like that? You know, the old Looney Tunes cartoons, they were so fucking racist. They all, all kinds of racist things. Like Bugs Bunny, oh man. Bugs Bunny would like put plates in his mouth to emulate some African tribes. <laughs> Most racist shit ever. Totally insensitive. I'm supposed to go up here, right? Because I don't see where else to go. So how... Where, where do I go? Yeah, yeah, I am supposed to go up there. So how do we do this? Oh, I gotta go over here. <laughs> All kinds of crazy stuff. <laughs> Ten-year-old. It says, what, tarnation? Oh no. Okay, we gotta go over there, there, there it is. Here we are, finally.
See, he's gonna save Carmelita, and There's then she's gonna go chasing after him again. Up here. Why are you doing this? Neela! She set me up. I'm an honest cop. Of course you are. I've read your psychological profile. I know that you're honest. Then why are you doing this to me? Because, dear, you're honest. You see, by chasing after Sly Cooper, you learned too much about the claw gun and its spice operation. It was only a matter of time before you figured out that I was a secret member. So, when Neela gave me a chance to put you in custody, I took it. Coward. You're a disgrace to Interpol. I'll make it my life's work to destroy you. Oh, I'm afraid your life, let alone your life's work, isn't going to last much longer. Once I integrate the clockwork eyes into this device, your life's work Were you work ever will afraid of mad cow disease? No. I won't but I'm, a, I'm guessing you were. <laughs> Quite right. It won't be easy. Or painless. It only affected uh, British cows. Mind, well, I, sh I should say only. Like, as far as I know, it only affected now, British cows because they would feed their relax. cows Go to your happy ground up remains of other cows. You know, like the, the scraps. I don't think well, seen after they slaughtered cows, they, they would have scraps left over. They would grind that up no. and then gotta help mix it She's with other feed. Here. There's nothing you can do now. And, Get the uh, recon photos and come back to the safe house. I swear would, uh, we'll find a way to help her. It would that that would be a that would eventually give rise to mad cow disease, you know. Some route of infection was transmitted via this this method. Brain prion, yeah. Cry on, however you pronounce it. Um, no, Vani, you're so afraid of things, aren't you? Why are you so afraid of things? What am I supposed to do here? Oh, I'm supposed to take photos? Jeez. I'm supposed to go in there. You, know, you would think rescuing her would be more important than taking photos. They seem to be routed through that control board. Get a shot of the console so I can decipher its make. We gotta take photographs before we actually save her. It's Saving right. her can wait. Inspector Fox is restrained. We have all the time Through in the world. Tech 250. <laughs> Don't Truly we get mad cow disease? <laughs> but <laughs> the, like Those are the Contessa's elite shadow guard. Seems to me like, you know, Tough like the fear is, is misplaced though, Holes you know, guys. because something that affected livestock in Great Britain but not not America. That's that's a mind shuffler. I didn't <laughs> think they were real. It's made of equal parts science and black magic. Indestructible. See, like this, this weapons. is not this is not uncommon for Nilovani. She's also she was also afraid of uh, Zika virus, weren't you? You're afraid of Zika virus, right, Nilovani? Wait a minute. Old terminal? <laughs> Zika and Ebola. Yeah. She's so afraid of all these diseases. But there is no danger. That You're more likely to, be hardwired to the die of power. influenza. We need to find a way to get it online. Yeah, I remember him. <laughs> all right. The black guy. Head he died. Safe house and we'll get a plan together. <laughs> Leave Carmelita behind. We'll get around to her when we get around to her. The war between Neela and the Contessa has put the castle on high alert. To get at the clockwork eyes, we'll need to subtly manipulate this conflict to our advantage. Here's the plan. Murray, sneak into the castle and kidnap the head of security. I want to ask him a few questions. Meanwhile, Sly and I are going to get a little paranormal. 
I'll slip into the crypts beneath the castle and put together a bad mojo bomb. It should be enough to destroy the bunker. mind shuffler. If you could live in like a bubble, you like Bubble Boy, you ever seen that movie and Bubble Boy? Them into Neela's headquarters. <laughs> would you, would you want to live like that? Hopefully the near-death experience will inspire her to purchase more mercenary fire. Just surrounded by a plastic We've bubble your whole life. We've all got our assignments. Good luck. <laughs> now you're going too far. The Simpsons episode had that. Uh, let me think. Bart in the bubble. <laughs> Zaxi Boy loves The Simpsons. I think I might be able to afford it after selling some stuff. Well, maybe not. I'm close though. I really need to get this thing. This is really good. All right, let me steal a little bit. Let's steal some stuff. Tanks. Little cat castle with fortress. Maybe a moat. And a garrison. You have land in Costa Rica? Oh, Costa Rica is very beautiful. Hey, lovely. Did you ever watch Jurassic Park? Isla Nublar is one of the smile. It, it's it's actually a fictional island, but in the Jurassic Park universe, it's off the coast of Costa Rica. I have an island off the coast of Costa Rica. Good place to build Jurassic Park too. I want to build Jurassic Park. Oh, your aunt's been to Costa Rica? Milovani, if we had the technology to clone dinosaurs, do you... Do you think we should do it? Because I say yes. We should. All right, Sly. There's your new objective. We can't. Sneak inside unfortunately. And smash the coffin of the evil wolf priestess. Sounds pretty harsh. Actually, no they they didn't film it in so Costa Rica. It, it takes place in Costa Rica, but they filmed it in Hawaii. An evil wolf <laughs> Probably not. How could you say that? The coffin, it'll free all the ghosts trapped in there with her. They went extinct okay. because an asteroid fell on top of the planet. This, but freeing trapped ghosts sounds vaguely heroic. Oh, I forgot. Nilavani subscribes to like the nature is like alive kind of thing. Yeah, that's that's one of, one of the places where we disagree. Weirdly enough, though, there's a small cottage somewhere on the land, and my brother and I were. The fuck is, fuck is this? It's vacant. Maybe it's like a haunted cottage. Mankind went into the past and caused the asteroid to fall. One of these days, maybe. You can actually use nuclear pulse propulsion to uh, deflect the trajectory of asteroids. It was meant to be. Well, it wasn't meant to be. It just happened. Like one one of these days, there's gonna be another asteroid, and we're gonna we're gonna try and avoid it. We're gonna use science and technology to deflect it. Getting past these things is annoying. Yeah, there was a lot of... It kicked up dust that, uh... 
caused the cosmic winter. Probably. Every species has its own era and take a lot of work to coexist. You know, technically, we're living with them right now. Because dinosaur because birds are dinosaurs. So we already have dinosaurs. <laughs> This one hits us because nobody notices it because the agencies and programs used to monitor them are defunded. Yeah, I mean, there was that, uh, that meteor that, uh, that blew up in, in the air over Russia, and no scientist was able to predict it. No, no scientific agency predicted it. It just came out of nowhere. So yeah, it might hit us and we wouldn't even know it. Nice work. Now head outside and I'll fill you in on phase two. That was caught on camera because everyone in Russia has a dash cam because uh, traffic accidents are so common. They need photographic evidence of what happened. So everyone in Russia has a fucking dash cam. Do you have a dash cam, Neville Vani? Asteroid recently passed by, very Earth, very close to Earth, distance Didn't closer than the moon. These guys free? No one knows. Kind of not the best technology right now. Yeah, yeah. There was, it's there was some um, during confined. that time when the the Gather Russian the ghosts, meteor hit. The there was a, a close flyby by it with a, with an Let asteroid. She'll think it's a sneak attack from the contestant. Cops are corrupt and Correct. corrupt too in Russia. Yeah, if I did buy <laughs> I'm sure they they gotta be. Yeah, they're right. corrupt in America too. Anything bad for the Contessa is good for us, and we get to really freak out Neela. Oh no, X affected. That was a that was a different event. That was um, um that was an actual impact. I'm talking about the relatively recent uh, air burst. Lots of people were injured, but um, I'll photograph the ghost. But it didn't actually impact with the the planet. No dash cam. <laughs> You should, you should maybe get a dash cam. Who knows? It might come in handy. I don't have one either, though. Rosie O'Donnell will end corruption. Hey. I'm in favor for anyone ending corruption. Rosie O'Donnell or anyone. <laughs> A lot of people in Estonia have them too. X Infected is an excellent driver. I don't know if you knew this, uh, Lovely, but X Infected, he's a, he's a real big car guy. He, uh... Tell, tell Lovely about what you do, X Infected. You're... You're a car guy, right? <laughs> You're not a mechanic, but you do like body mods or something, modifications. It goes really fast in cars. Barefoot too, by the way. I got ganked. A DeLorean? A DeLorean is the, the car from Back to the Future. It was made by DMC Motors. It's the... It was the only car they ever built. It has its legacy in nerd culture because of its appearance in Back to the Future. But it's a real car. Modify car engines and make them go very fast.
X Infected, do you want to know if Lovely walks around barefoot? I mean, kind of stopped asking everyone whether they walk around barefoot. You see, Lovely, X Infected, he believes that all women should walk around barefoot, like all the time. He has a big fetish for barefoot girls. Isn't that right, X Infected? Exactly. <laughs> this barefoot lifestyle. this other thing. <laughs> you enjoy socks, the fluffy kind? You know what's cute on girls? But um, they don't do this anymore. Like in Japan, they used to wear these things called loose socks. Those were really cute, but it went out of fashion. Too bad, it looked cute. All right, where is the other thing I'm supposed to photograph? I don't get it. Why is it not telling me what I'm supposed to photograph? Oh, the ghosts. Where, is, where are they? I'm just getting my ass kicked. This is ridiculous. Fuck. Alright. Let's... Let's look for the ghosts. I think I see one. They're all the way over there. See, now they're showing up. I don't know why they didn't show up before. They're all over the place. Photograph nine of these stupid things. And, like when you're down here, you can't even see any of them. doing it again. It's... Oh, okay, there's one. I swear, like, way too often this happens. Now I'm too close. Deterra? I don't know. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. I have no idea who that is. Who is that? Throwing communists from helicopters? Is that... Like, legal, dude? Hey, hey, Zaxi Boy, remember 
you were asking me about that Mary Poppins episode. Remember that, the guy? Is that like legal, dude? Oh shit, I missed it. Oh, the president of the Philippines? Oh, that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. X Effect knows all about that guy. Fuck. Yeah, Jimbo Jim. Yeah, that's the name of the guy. Boy for sale. Boy for sale. Is this, like, legal, dude? Guys are killing everyone in the Philippines who does drugs. Yeah, yeah, I remember he, he was on a war against, uh, drug users. I didn't know... I didn't know he was throwing communists out of helicopters, though. <laughs> kind of a, kind of a unique way of throwing them out of a helicopter. Remember in Scarface? When they killed Omar? <laughs> by hanging him from the helicopter? <laughs> That's what it kind of reminds me of when you mention it. Uh, and then he has that, like, water, that nasty vomit shit that's streaming from his mouth. You remember that, Nelavani? You saw Scarface, right? Anyone else saw Scarface? With Al Pacino? Man, I can't get a good shot of any of these ghosts. <laughs> being sing singing songs all day and not a bloody jukebox. I remember that. Yeah, the ceasefire but it broke. Every fucking time the ghost is behind a building. There's one. <laughs> and it goes behind a building. I gotta say, some of these mi these missions, they're just nowhere near as good as the missions from... Come on, stop moving around! That's good, right? Okay, okay. Yeah, like, I, I have to say, the, the missions in this game, they're just not as fun and diverse as the missions in Slide 3, which makes sense, because Slide 3 came afterwards and it was an improvement. But, you know, going from Slide 3 to Slide 2... Hmm. He's too far away. Fidel Ramos? Nolavani knows all about Fidel Ramos. They're homies. Come on. All right, I'm going to go over to descent across the bridge. Fuck! Very hard for me to like games that come out after the first... Like, I always like the first one more. Oh, really? Slide 3 is my favorite in the series, but it seems like a lot of people like 2 the best. Hey, PD Piranha. Slide 3 was great, yeah. I, I think it's it's better than Slide 2. Okay, let me just do this. Let me get the hell out of here. Half-Life, in my mind, the other games aren't better. Like more than Star Wars Battlefront, like it more than the second. Hmm. I see. 
I haven't played Half-Life 2 yet. I don't think Half-Life 1 aged that well. That's just my opinion. I played on the PC. Um, I think at the time it was a great game. But, uh, you know, I have played it since then, and I, I can't say that... I uh, can't say it really held up that well. Um, for video games... Now, for movies... The sequel rarely is better than the first. For video games, from my observations, and also the reviews usually um, are consistent with this, the sequels are actually better, typically. Uh, not always, but typically they are better. Um, the reason is because... Um, damn it. The reason is because... Uh, you can improve video games in a lot more ways than you can with movies. You can always improve the graphics, and with a better graphics engine, you get more gameplay opportunities and stuff like that, so... But of course, there's gonna be people who, you know, have their personal preferences. Like Lovely Gamer. Who prefer the original. Okay, there, there is one. Gravity Rush 2 is better than the first one, though. Gravity Rush 2 was made uh, with the uh, PS4 in mind, of course. And uh, Gravity Rush 1 was originally made for the... Was it the Vita or the PSP, Nilovani? Can you say your lack of faith disturbs me? Your lack of faith disturbs me. <laughs> because I, I, I would have to do it in a James Earl Jones, Jones voice. You know, his voice is very unique, very deep. Your lack of faith disturbs me. Biatch! Maybe it's because he was the badass. He was badass for a little kid like me. Ah, yeah. Nostalgia is a big factor. Vita, okay. Yeah. The Vita kind of died. Sadly, rest in peace, Vita. <laughs> I think he's stuck inside of that house. Oh, there's one over here. I only have four. I love how Lovely Gamer is a huge Star Wars fan. I love Star Wars. I have a hope. I have um, some Star Wars comics on my tablet too. I gotta read them. I also have some Aliens comics I gotta read. I gotta read so many comics. And also Walking Dead. I gotta read all these comics. Damn it, I don't get a good shot. Do you read comics, uh, Lovely? Any comic books? Oh, there's one. Please? Oh. Okay, this, this might be the worst mission in the game, or uh, pretty close to it. Pretty close to being the worst. You know, actually, the, the, the mission that Kate said is the worst, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad at all. Or she was, she was saying it was like the second worst. That wasn't that bad. This one is kind of just arduous and annoying. I mean, it's not that hard. Well, I shouldn't say it's arduous. It's just kind of annoying because they always get stuck behind buildings. Actually, this mission kind of epitomizes what's wrong with the game. There's too much shit in the way of what you need to go to or look at. Like, I mean, what is this? Ah, Star Wars comic book? Haven't taken it out of its plastic cover? Oh, you're gonna... 
gonna hold it, hold on to it for years and years until it's worth like a million bucks. <laughs> yeah, these days I mostly just get them on my tablet. Ah, bad framing. Tablets are great for reading comics. Man. Oh no. There's a bad guy. Damn. This is driving me nuts. But it's not real. It's not a tangible comic. Well, that is true. There is some something to be said about the aesthetic quality of holding a real a real comic book in your hand that you know the way it feels in your hand the way it smells that that brand new comic book smell I love that Ugh, the stupid things They're all over the place but I can never get a good shot of them That's six. Nilavani's a collector of Sandman comics. So what, what are these Sandman comics about anyway? Like, what, what is it about, like, putting people to dreams or some shit? X-Infected, are you familiar with these uh, Sandman comics from DC? I swear that thing is stuck inside of that. Okay, wait, there we go. I can't, I'm too far away. You know, that paraglider thing would be really useful right about now. Remember that song? Mr. Sandman. Bring me a... Well, what was it? Bring me a dream? Bring me a dream. Bo, 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 bo. Baby, da, 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 da. Bo, 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 bo. <laughs> It's a good way. Of, it's like a good bedtime song. <laughs> I knew Zax would know that song. Mr. Sandman. Yes? Bring me your dream. What are the lyrics? Bring me a... Is it bring me a dream or bring me your dream? I'm too far. It's about the anthropomorphic personifications of different metaphysical deities. Oh, okay. 63 years old. Oh, really? I didn't realize it was that old. No, Levani's really into all this anthropomorphic personification of different metaphysical deities thing. Death, delirium, uh, <coughs> delirium. There's this really good anime called uh, Death Note. It has uh, something called Shinigamis. Delirium kind of looks like you. Really? That's so crazy. Yeah, there's this anime called uh, um, Death Note and there's these things called Shinigamis in it. And uh, they are death gods really cool anime. It's an anime about, um, there's a notebook called the Death Note, and if you write someone's name in it, they die. Kinda crazy. Mr. Salmon, bring me a dream. Bong, 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 bong. Bung. 
Bung 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 bung. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen. Bung 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 bung. Give him two lips like roses and clover. Bung bung bung. Then tell him that his lonesome, <laughs> lonesome nights are over. <laughs> All right. I really gotta stop singing. You guys hate my singing, right? Where is the, the, I hate how this thing only comes up. All right, there we go. Okay, good. Thanks, X. <laughs> Thank you, nobody. <laughs> X Factor. I did chorus when I was in um, elementary school, but I wish I did it more. Oh well, too late. <laughs> too late for that. Too close. Mm. This last one. Actually, there's two more I gotta get. They're all pretty high up. Oh, I can go up this way. Can anyone sing in here? Anyone like sing? Okay. Luke used to sing a little bit. I never heard him live though. He does like gigs and stuff. <laughs> he plays bass. Luke's a friend of mine. Uh, lovely. <laughs> lovely, do you ever think about the anthropomorphic personification of different metaphysical deities? Too shy to share my singing voice? Aw, oh, come on. You should, you should make a video and put it on YouTube. I think actually maybe did you ever sing on? I saw some of your videos. I should ch check check more of them out. Did you ever make a video of you singing on on YouTube? Where are these stupid things? Are there? Maybe I can get this one finally. Is <laughs> Mario cover? Yeah, that was pretty good. Sam Man are the best comics ever? Really? They come highly recommended from Nilovani. How's the artwork? <laughs> nah, I'm just... It's because Nilovani posted this... This thing about uh, what that comic book is about. She says it's about anthropomorphic personification of different metaphysical deities. Spectacular? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Alright. Maybe I'll check it out. I uh, posted a video of my singing about a year ago, so I doubt it. I deleted it. Aww. You should post it again, and you can link it here, so everyone can check it out. <laughs> oh yeah, very good choice of words, Nilavani. 
It just rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, the triple point? I think I heard of that before, yeah. Pretty unusual state of matter. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I heard of it. You ever heard of the Omega Point? Anybody know what the Omega Point is? It has nothing to do with what Zaxy Boy is talking about. How you doing, Zaxy Boy? Where is this other one? I keep missing it. I have enough money for the glider, but I'm still on this stupid mission. Never heard of it? The Omega Point is supposed to refer to a... It's actually in a... It's a religious concept. It's supposed to refer to a point of where humanity has ascended to godhood. I believe it might be part of Catholicism. The term has been kind of borrowed when discussing things like the technological singularity and human evolution, what we may become in the future. The Omega Point. We may transcend our human bodies and become like a bodiless, godlike entity. I'm sure Nilavani would oppose that. She is very much a woman of the flesh. <laughs> Isn't that right? Not sure. There's also a video of Cody's lab. Critical point of CO2. Mm -hmm. See, like this last one. Okay. Like, it's always, it's just eluding me like crazy. Doesn't this mission suck? <laughs> Fleshy and organic. Nilovani loves her flesh. Yeah, he's too far away, but I was close. Yep. Yeah, science has kind of... Oh! Kind of co-opted the, the term a bit. Now just make your way to Dila's HQ and drop them down her chimney. Alright, finally. First head trend. First head transplant supposed to happen this year. Would you ever want to have your head transplanted, Nilavani? <laughs> like we could. Wouldn't that be so fucked up if we took Nilavani's head and transplanted it onto Joe Siegler's body? That'd be the worst thing ever. <laughs> Thank you, X-Infected. What about you, lovely? Are you uh, a woman of the flesh too? Or do you want to become a robot like me? <laughs> I want to become a robot. have so much better better bodies just thinking about a head transplant surgery makes me queasy 
our limit. A man who has a disease written has his head transplanted. Hmm. Pretty fucked up. Where is this place I need to go to? Oh no. become a superhero what would be what kind of superpowers power or powers would you want Jedi would be cool Tessa wants war, eh? Perhaps it's time I purchase a little air power. A few bombers should put that old charlatan in her place. If there is ever a mass movement of people turning into robots, I will be the resistance and remain fleshy. <laughs> but you're not gonna stand a chance against the robots because they have, like, indestructible, near indestructible bodies. <laughs> You know? That's why they've enhanced themselves. You know, it'll be kind of like Deus Ex, Human Revolution. It's not gonna be robots right away, but like... Humans with cybernetic parts and stuff like that. The powers of lightning electricity, those will be cool. Yeah, just like uh, Darth Sidious with his force uh, electricity. That'd be awesome. Don't care if I stand a chance or not. <laughs> this would be a real human being. Milovani's an all-natural kind of gal. I'm with Lovely though. I want I want superpowers. Only way to get that is by transplanting your body. All right. So we've been streaming for about uh, about four hours. So I'm gonna call it a night tonight, and we'll pick this up again tomorrow. I want to thank everyone for streaming with me, and I just want I just want to give extra special thanks to Lovely. Once again, for her, for her donation of five dollars. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Keep for one oh three. Hmm. I don't know what that means, sexy boy. Anyway, we'll pick this up again tomorrow. Hope to see you all then. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.